We got the Viva Tire of the Upstate uh, Recycling Tire Type Center. Closed down back in 2017. It originally started up in 2014. There is a tire lamp monofill on the, the property. And basically we, we've worked with DHEC over the last few years trying to get money to clean this property up. It's a fire hazard, a mosquito hazard. We've actually had four fires down here. Two were structural, uh, two were actually tires themselves. It basically took, uh, the two tire fires took 24 hours to put out. With the assistance of Home Park Fire Department, other fire departments in the area, it was 10 fire departments on both of those fires. Tires made out of oil base and petroleum type product. When they catch on fire, they can really, really flame up. And it's a, it's a danger to the community. The tires hold water. And anytime you hold in water and stagnant water and all that, mosquitoes breathe in that. So that was a major issue there. And there's also a, a gas line on the other side that runs through the property. So we have to consider that also. Ever since 2017, it's been talked about the last two years we really worked hard and getting the money from DHEG. We have a $2 million grant right now to be cleaning up on the property. We're working with SNME Engineering. They're, they're helping us out with things from the stormwater standpoint, the cleaning up the project. And, also, and we're also using a company called CCI that is hauling the, the uh, materials off to two different landfills, one being Twin Chimneys and one being in Homer, Georgia to get this material off and handle it safely. We're hoping to be done in three months, but it's three to four months probably and just depends on weather and things of that nature. The county does not own it. The county is actually cleaning it up and putting a lien on the property so nobody can develop it or anything until uh, we decide what needs to be done with it. Basically looking at the waste tires, there's like 3,500 tons on top of the ground. There's about 5,000 tons estimated to be underneath the ground. So you've got about 8,500 tons on the whole property. We are committed to get it cleaned up as quick as possible.